It's week four of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Seahawks and the Lions on Monday night. It's a city home to one of the most loyal and passionate fan bases in football. And all the noise they're making is being captured by the devil here. Turn stuck to the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So the Lions take the field for their first drive. And leading them out in his ninth NFL season, he experienced a real resurgence last year. It's Jared Goff. While we all love to talk about the quarterback, he really wasn't at the forefront of their win last week, Kate. Kind of took a step back and let some of his teammates shine. Yeah, he made a good mark with a touchdown pass, a bad mark with an interception, Welcome to life in the NFL as a quarterback. You know he wants to make a little more noise, elevate everybody else a little better than he did a week ago. Look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. of these injuries that have occurred along the way. You know what, Kate? If you and I traveled to every training camp, I think we'd hear the same thing. Next man up. Next man up. These teams know it. The players know it. You hear the talk. You know what kind of rocket this team is. I know it's early, but this is looking like a group who could be built for a playoff run as long as this list doesn't grow too much longer. Throw in with a blitz on the way. St. Brown there to bring it in. And this one doesn't go far. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on a throw, that's a go-to route to target. From the 40 on second down. He's got it, room to run. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And that gives the Lions the first. If you want to become a quarterback's best friend, do that. Turn a short little game, a short little pass, and just some yards on to catch, and the quarterback will find you again. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Motioning him from the slot right. Right out's getting involved in the ground game. And he works it deeper into enemy territory past the 40. First down play, that's at five. It's going to be second and five. Well, this is a headache-inducing run for a defensive coach. I could just imagine that staff both upstairs and down on the field watching the kick because now, well, they're going to have to just worry about this guy catching his receiver. Now they know he can be a weapon in the ground game, too. And he's tackled with a first down yardage. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. Got a man, coverage lost and complete. And they will score a touchdown to Detroit. The Lions finish up an excellent opening series. So a picture-perfect way to begin this ball game, Brock. Their opening drive ends in six. Yeah, no question about it. That's how you do it. You work all week to script out the opening drive, and it's huge when it pays off like that. Kicking team out to try the extra points. And this kick is through as they take the 7 nothing lead. as they send this one downfield. 
Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. They're led out by someone amidst their second act as an NFL QB. He was a second rounder back in 2013, Geno Smith. Hey, it wasn't a banner game he had last week, stuff in the stat sheet, but still one that falls squarely into the good territory. Had a couple touchdowns to make up for the one interception, and his effort was enough to be one of the pillars in their win, and certainly some momentum to build on today. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. Back to back carries here. And they're going to get him down just shy of midfield. Still a nice game, though, up to the 49. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who's shaken up. Here's the give on third and short. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Win the early battle. Give a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Another carry for it. And it's a nice gain on the run, aided by that broken tackle. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. So it'll be another first and ten for him, Brock, down at the opposing 37. Smith to the air now. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. Neither side separating much so far. We're back to Ford Field right after this. About set for the second quarter. Seahawks football here. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. He had it for a moment, but a complete defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. And he's going to take this all the way to about the 31. Just one yard on the play, and that leaves him with fourth and four. Smith back to throw. He finds him beyond the marker. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. That'll be a 20-yard hit on fourth down, Brock, and it keeps this drive moving. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Defense is all over this one for a big loss. Offense in the hurry up here. He's pitching it out. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on... And they take it across the goal line. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks finish up their opening drive. Now it's Jason Myers on for the extra point. And this kick was just missed hit. It is wide left and no good. Things trimmed back down to a single point. 
point, Brock, as they send this off and away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Lions and Jared Goff set to take over on offense once again. And after some momentum was wrestled away by that last touchdown drive, Brock, the pressure is on them to respond here. Here's Goff. Seahawks bringing the pressure, and they got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Never ever a great look when your quarterback's picking himself up a few seconds into a drive. They're going to need a lot more fight on second down and a whole lot of yardage to get this back on track. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the set. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Now gone. This is complete to Gibbs. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down, sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness that's coming, and more importantly, to stop it. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The visitors and their running back about to get back to work. Play action on first down. Open receiver caught. And he works this to the 38 before going down. It goes for a 38-yard pickup. And the Seahawks will have a first down. I know they may have wanted to throw that pass a little bit sooner, but I'll tell you what. That receiver's ability to navigate his way across the entire field really set up the space he needed to complete the huge gain. Set it down for him at the 38. Throwing is Smith. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. They gain 14 on the play. And it sets up Seattle with first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. And he gets this down to the 22 before being stopped. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Looking to throw Smith. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Riddle. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, kid, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little game on top of it. A lot of room they need here. It's fourth and long eight. Smith. That's incomplete on fourth down. And they'll turn over possession. Even the best receivers, they've got occasional breaks in concentration. You just never want to see it happen. One of the most important snaps of the game. If we know anything about this guy, though, it's he'll be up for the challenge the next time the ball comes his way. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They send the tight end in motion. Gone. Defense 
make you awfully happy as an offensive player, especially when you screw it up and you fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Throwing now, following the turnover. This one's caught. And he drives this forward to the six. Seahawks in their hurry up offense. They need to get everyone to the line. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Throwing from the gun. And this one is dropped and incomplete. He's got the pick in his hands. Couldn't hang on. It's going to be put down. Now Smith. Into traffic. Complete. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. We've arrived at halftime here. In Not everyone's a fan of the out-of-town scoreboard. We'll keep our focus right here. Let's get back to football with the start of the second half. The Lions have it all set as they send this one downfield. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The visitors back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And his performance has ailed against what has been a very stout defensive front. This hasn't been a contest to stack up their among his better showings, partner. They've made it real difficult to find any holes to hit, and there's been absolutely no space for him to work with. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Going back, it's the handoff. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Hey, these are the type of games he's counted on to get when they're available. Unfortunately, he had tremendous vision to see the scene and get through it before that window could close. Back to the well again. And he'll make his way through for a pick of a four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, it's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. The shot down field will line up incomplete. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. It's a heck of a break. That's the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to once they get one hand on the ball, put a good beat on you and get two hands on it the next time. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. How about a big hitter? 30, 40 yards there and a new set of downs. Speed kills, baby. You better make that tackle right away on these receivers or you're going to get some serious yak. Those yards after catch just like that. Taking a short gain and turning it into an explosive play. Throwing from the gun here. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Just a yard, so now it's second and goal. Get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams
teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. And this is caught at the Seattle touchdown. The Seahawks take the lead right away in half number two. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. The Seahawks offense, look at this, they aren't leaving the field, lining up and going for two. He's throwing for it, and the conversion is no good as that pass ball is incomplete. That is tremendous defense. First and foremost, you've got to defend against the run on this short of a field. To do that and adapt in time to force an incompletion, boy, that is a huge win for the defense. The kicking team ready for the Seahawks, and forward they run to send it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The offense headed out now for Detroit. They find themselves trailing after the opening drive touchdown. And that can really set up to be an entertaining second half if they're able to answer here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Psychology puts a little seed of doubt on that other side. Maybe if you come into this moment later in the game, and certainly an injection of confidence for your offense that they can deliver in the clutch. They're out and set, first and ten. The Seahawks offense taking the field now. They'll run here on first down. It's an eight yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Well, we've talked about this before, Brock, the thinking simple but effective. We'll stop getting it to this guy uh, when you find a way to stop it, and they have yet to do that today. You know there's just certain things up in this booth that I love. I think you could feel it emanating from me. And one of them is when you impose your will, and you don't back away from it. If they can't stop it, run it right out. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. First down now, ball on the 39-yard line. Mahone back to the backfield and they give it to him. And they're gonna stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 41. That one is incomplete. Come hang on through the contact. I think that was a throw cake that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. He has the first over the middle. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. That's 16 on the pickup. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Simple dive up the middle. And he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. 
Here's Smith. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. It's Lions ball as they try to keep that lead and close out a win. Second and three now. From the 16. He's got it, number one. And they will score a touchdown for Detroit. The Lions capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. It's a Sam LaPorta touchdown. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Lions have it all set as they send this one downfield. Here's a return from the seven. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Seahawks offense running out now. And a nice drive last time out. Brock squandered by that interception. So I think they take a repeat of everything except that final play. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Smith back to throw. It's caught Metcalf. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Smith setting the throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And they take him down right along the 30. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. He'll throw it yet again. Got a man open, complete. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. Working quickly here. First down from the red zone. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. Throwing it again here. That one's incomplete in the end zone. So that play doesn't work out, but things make it even worse for them. Looks like one of their big guys out front is in need of a look from the training staff. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Smith to the air now. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks reduce the lead to just four. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey, the position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Oh, he's set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Short kick here, fielded at the 15. He lost the football. And they steal it back on the return. These guys are flying down the field. Reminds me of the guys at Braveheart. But different than Braveheart, these guys got two things on their mind. Number one, get the returner down. And number two, try to separate the ball if they can. It's rare that it happens, but boy, is it big when it does. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. He got a new set of downs started by the rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to 
kick himself from behind the line thanks to great effort defensively. We'll only get this to the 26 before going down. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. He'll throw it. Complete beyond the marker. And they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down. Give him about 16 yards on that game, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks take a fourth quarter lead. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined free snap. It was great design, a tremendous execution. The kicking team ready for the Seahawks, and forward they run to send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Following the kick return, we've got somebody shaking up. So we're going to get a stoppage here as he's attended to. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. It is caught left side. And he's walked down after a nice gain and a first down. Motion Peoples Jones left. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. St. Brown's got it, complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Looking to throw it. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And that'll be first down, Detroit. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Now the Lions calling the timeout. They're first. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Now to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here he is to throw. Defense too much. The Seahawks drag him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. That sure ended up being a worst case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Lions really moving with a sense of urgency. Clock keeps running. Desperation time on fourth down. Finds Laporta. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Plowing up the middle. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They give it to him again. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. A timeout taken here by the Lions. That's their third. So now here's third and five. Here he is to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play. Jarrett Lewis incomplete. Ball and defender runs at the exact same time there. And that leaves them with fourth and five. Complete. And he reaches the 35 before going out. 
They are now set for first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. Right side, got a man complete. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. The Seahawks calling for a timeout. So they're first to three. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, they'll run. He finds space into the red zone. And they take it across the goal line. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks now lead by 10. So that should be the one that does it, Brock. A big one late that puts them up here two scores. What a complete performance overall. The clock where it is and where it stands right now, Kate, that should be the capper. And that is so satisfying as an offense to go up two scores. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kicking team ready for the Seahawks, and forward they run to send it away. Short kick here, fielded at the 17. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Gonna be the final play of the game. One final shot here. Trying to push it deep downfield. And that last pass falls incomplete as this game comes to a close. So the Seahawks take this one on the road. And they're continuing to survive among the final remaining unbeaten teams across the NFL as they're now up to a 3 0 start. This has been another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. With all our crew here and my broadcast partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Seahawks winners, as we'll see you next time from Detroit.